The last movie ends with the, with the gang destroying the game, but uh, what we discover early in this movie is that it didn't stay destroyed. Mm. And Spencer, for some reason, some gravitational pull towards the game, had to go back and get it. And uh, unbeknownst to his friends, he's been hanging on to it all this time. We were keenly aware of, obviously, the fortunate success that we had in the first one with Jumanji, and we wanted to raise the bar. Uh, we wanted to be better. We wanted to be bigger in some areas, but we also wanted to make sure that we were rooted in the foundation that really made the first one, I think, unique and appealing to everybody around the world, which was heart. And we had this opportunity to introduce new characters, obviously an Aquafina's character, and also bring in the two Dannys that wound up really, this relationship that they had wound up anchoring um, our movie. So it was really, really, you know, for us, just, you know, what are you saying? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I, <thought you> <laughs> I didn't say nothing uh, no, to I'm you. I'm just saying, I thought you said something. No. Jake was touching on it. You know, we, we had sort of this gift at the end of the last movie, which was that the game was busted. And so, obviously, as, as DJ was just saying, we wanted to come back and, and capture the success and the chemistry and the comedy and the action of the, of the first movie, but we wanted to, sorry, no pun intended, we wanted to take it to another level. <laughs> and the fact that the, the game was busted actually gave us a certain amount of freedom to take that idea and to change it up and to, and to kind of break the rules of the first movie and, and do something different. Yeah, and I, I think with, with that opportunity, you know, we, we had such great success with the first movie. We were all based in Hawaii, but this one, in wanting to just make everything bigger, uh, we expanded in terms of our production scale, what we want to do with our partners. We brought in a great new second unit director. You'll see, I'm sure you guys felt in the action with what Karen did, with what the guys were doing. Um, and then on top of it, we went all over the place. So from first being in Hawaii, we were in Calgary, we were in New Mexico. We really just expanded the scope of the movie, and I think it really translated in a big way to a game that's broken and um, making sure it's given our team a really hard time. Yeah. Uh, you want me to start? Go ahead, well, Joe. Before yeah. I start, I actually, I have a sheet of my, <laughs> this is my Spanish, um, <laughs> because I'm, I'm basically, you know, I'm, I, love, I love Cabo, and I love coming to Mexico, and I love the people, and I just want to make sure that I, you know, embrace where I am. So I just want to start off by saying, um, están listos para Jumanji. Um, right? And uh, I just want to say also, uh, bienvenidos uh, al evento de Jumanji, el siguiente nivel. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Well said. That's yes. said. I've been working. Wow. I've just been. I'm really big on embracing the culture. No, listen. Having the opportunity to portray legends is a big deal in general. Um, this is something that you don't expect to have the opportunity to do. And when you have a project that's as massive as the one that we have, uh, and creative people that are involved, and a director slash writer that literally has ideas that are just outside the norm, um, things like this happen. So when the idea of me being Danny Glover came up, I was like, what the hell? Are you serious? And he said, yeah, I think it'd be great. And I said, not only will it be great, but I'm gonna do what I can to make this man happy about my portrayal of him. So it was a challenge within the idea uh, that I was happy to step up to and thank God it came out right. It was a real honor and a, and a true honor to portray uh, and embody Danny DeVito. You know, and also too, I, I really think that that is, and you guys have seen the movie, um, I believe everybody has seen the movie, right? So you guys know that, um, 
you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like the cool magic of Jumanji, and that you get an opportunity to uh, embody um, these other people, you know, and really it becomes this limitless idea um, of maybe multiple Jumanji universes and multiple people. So the fact that Kevin and I had this, you know, we admired these guys. All of us, by the way, have admired these guys. They're legends in our business. And also, too, you know, Danny, both Dannys have a very distinct way about them, a very distinct acting style, a very d distinct cadence and tone uh, and rhythm in how they speak. Um, so it was a lot of fun uh, for Kevin and I both. And we... I think the relationship between Kevin and I, outside of our real friendship, um, that kind of, um, that you feel in the movie, was only made possible by the tone that our two Danny set in the beginning of the movie. Very true. Where they are just best friends and kind of going through this strife and kind of ripped apart, but have known each other and have this love for each other for 30, 40 years. So I thank you both. Thank you very, very much for really coming on to our movie. Honestly, cool. it was such a pleasure. Yeah. Well said, buddy. Well said. Uh, I, I just want, I was really, really honored to be part of this group. And uh, it's like a friendship. They're all friends. And it's really great that they've embraced us, uh, all of us, new, newbies in their lives. Uh, I don't know how you did me, though. What are you talking well, about? You did a well, great I did. job. I know. I, I'm, I'm too old for this. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I'll get the wrong, wrong, wrong. No problem. I didn't want you to leave. <laughs> oh, but but, but uh, it, it, it was funny. I mean, for me, uh, uh, instead of working with with, uh, with with Danny, Danny number one, Danny to Danny number one, you know, and so it was it was a great and to watch how they both incorporate DJ and, and also Kevin incorporate those kind of mannerisms that seem. You don't know when, you, when you're doing something that it becomes <laughs> some, something other than what you're doing until somebody starts repeating you. And it's great. He had me crack it up. I was laughing all, <laughs> laughing all over the theater when I saw him. You know, it's, it's so beautiful, man. But it, it, it certainly was, it was a lot of fun doing that and a lot of fun having that, those moments with Danny. As, as, as Kevin said, we kind of set the tone of the kind of contentious, bickering kind of relationship that, mm. that, that, that we had, we're able to enjoy. Um, and and that, was, that was great, man. Yes, it was. was. Great. I play a character called Ming, and she um, is very mysterious, evidently. Um, Kevin <laughs> might have not gotten that memo. Uh, <laughs> but no, she... Uh, she oh, <laughs> sh She's a, <laughs> no, no. They I, saw the movie. It's I, not like I'm giving yeah, a the surprise movie. to them. They it. saw it. And I appreciate your words as well. No, I really do. Um, no, so she, she's a cat burglar and she's allergic to dander. So that, that's what I was told I could give away about the <laughs> It was so much fun. I get nunchucks now. I mean, I can actually use them and I, I own some. And it's just the most random skill I never thought I'd have. <laughs> ever in my life, but I, I really hope I have the opportunity to use it. Maybe like if someone attacked me on the street and I could see if I have the reflexes and the skills to react in the moment. All right. But that's not an invitation Karen, to attack me. So that's enough. That. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Jesus. <laughs> that's enough, Karen. I've been really aggressive. Karen's been on yeah. one lately. Yeah, like some, really just aggressive. Like something cool. happened that we have yet to get to the bottom of <laughs> yeah. Karen. And the nunchucks are hard. <laughs> By the way, when you guys see Karen in the movie, like I watched the movie, the final cut uh, not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and I was blown away, and I made the movie, we made the movie with Karen, but like the, at the her skill level of just kicking ass and how she really elevated those action sequences were amazing, so when you hear that like, it's yes, yes. So true. yes, when you hear that, it's true, when you hear that iconic music, you know, Jack, you want to sing a little bit about that? Jumanji. Well, no, that's no, not. I, I, oh, I, I thought that's I what you were talking about. No. Ooh, baby, I love you way. Yeah. Every day, yeah. every day. Yeah. Ooh, right. Well, I'll see you tonight, baby. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Black. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, it's the greatest video game in the world. It's got the best... Uh, 
graphics. It makes you wonder who developed the game of Jumanji. Mm. Possibly a good plot line for Jumanji Ooh. 3. Mm. Jake. I've been pushing him for a long time to let's go to space and to see the aliens that develop the Jumanji technology. But he's like, Jack, we're not going to open that can of worms. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, to answer your question, would I rather be old or young playing the game? I often think that when I retire, I'm just going to play video games 24-7. Some say old, with the yeah. wisdom of age, playing a young man's game, or young woman's game, a young person's game. <laughs> Who do I identify myself with? Most of all of the avatars? Oh, oh, of, the two that, of the ones that I play. Uh, well, I had a ball playing my new character, inhabiting Sir Darius Blaine's character. Uh, Fridge was, uh, was an awesome challenge. And, uh, you know, obviously, Bethany, great, great character, too. I don't really think about which one is my favorite. In the moment, I just feel like this feels right, this sounds right to me, and I, I always feel like I'm hitting a home run, and it feels great. <laughs> <laughs> I love all my characters equally. All my avatars. Oh, I'm always the same avatar. It's so confusing. I love all the inhabitants of my avatar equally. It's great, great fun working with these people. Uh, it's fun sitting here with them, and it's exactly as much fun working with them every day. They're just uh, brilliantly funny, and all of them, to a body, just completely game. So we have, you know, the, they're up for anything, we'll try anything. I feel like they've all been really kind of fearless about how they do this, because it's not, you know, to play these characters that are so different from what they're like in most cases. It's uh, you got to be sort of ready to go for it, and they're all just completely ready to go for it. So it's uh, honestly nothing but fun doing this with these guys. In terms of how we, we do it, you know, we start talking about it before we start and keep talking about it the whole time, and they have great ideas that they bring every single day, and that becomes a big part of it, and we try and just sort of dial it in and find it, and then I try to keep track of what everybody else in the movie is doing, you know, what the kids are doing in the beginning of the movie, what, in this case, Danny and Danny are doing in the beginning of the movie, so that we can kind of trace it through and you'll feel like you're watching the same people. A shout out to our, our director and our leader, Jake, um, which I think is important to make. You know, is a complicated movie. These are complicated movies with people playing a bunch of different parts. Um, and, and he has all of that in his head and, and, and runs the set with such an incredible touch but with such clarity yeah. of what we're there to do and what the tone is and what the characters are about in that moment. And it's, it's amazing to watch. And, and as producers, I mean, that's, that's a dream when you have a filmmaker, and I'm sure as actors too, who is as sure-footed as, as our director. So I, I just wanted to... Give yeah. a shout out well, to Jake. Thanks, man. Yeah. 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 Very true. true. Saying it. Thank you. And I'm so sorry, before you ask your question, to point out, because we have been laughing and talking about this for such a long time, is since the inception of the first Jumanji, when we all first signed on to do this, that was four years ago. Jake has not stopped working <laughs> yeah. on Jumanji. Yeah. So his life has been Jumanji for the past four and a half years. Which I live it and know. breathe it. Yeah. Yes. So. Four years. Four, yeah. Yes. But an incredible four years. I and mean, it's, uh, it's been a really pretty spectacular uh, gift to be able to do this. And uh, this team is just nothing but a joy. And then the people we make the movies with, you know, in terms of the large behind the scenes team that it takes to do a thing like this with this much um, kind of technical sophistication and all these places we go. And, you know, they're, they're, uh, I have this amazing group of people working with me in front of the camera and behind the camera. And uh, it's been a pretty awesome thing. You need to be a guy that everybody is okay with trusting. That's right. That's what you need to be. You have to have a certain talent, and you have to have a certain skill for everybody to assume that everything you say is what it is. So from everybody that worked underneath him, we all 
had a high level of trust, mm -hmm. which is why we came back to do the movie again. And in doing the movie again, it was more bells and whistles mm -hmm. than it was the first time. But nobody questioned anything. Nobody had doubt because we had trust. I think that's an amazing skill and all of the accolades that will come this man's way are well deserved. He is our leader, flat out. Yeah. That man Thanks, is a man. Four more years. Now's the moment you announce. <laughs> Do it.